Hello again. I, tr I made I made this video yesterday. I didn't like it. We'll make it again today. If I don't like this one, I'll try it again tomorrow. I got to thinking. You know, I've tried. To, I release my podcast every Friday. I try to be pretty consistent with that. You know, I, I put them out on Friday. Now, whether or not they show up on iTunes or whatever, on whenever they show up there, I don't know. But I put them out Friday. I think I'm thinking maybe I should start putting these videos out on a specific day. So maybe I don't know. We'll think. We'll think. We'll. We'll, we'll, we'll get that figured out. But I'm thinking Thursday. I'm thinking Thursday might be the day that I'll pick to be the day we do video releasing. Plus I got a video editing program if I can ever figure out how to use it. That'll add some more time to the process. But, uh, because I'd like to edit these videos. Make them all nice and professional looking. But, you know, time, time's what it is. We only got 24 hours in a day. But last week's video went over about like a turd in a punch bowl. Can I say that? A turd in a punch bowl? A fart in church? I'm just, judging by the views it got, that's about how popular it was. So, hey, lessons learned. Lessons learned. So we'll just, uh, I will mentally uh, keep that in mind and continue on our way. But today we're going to talk about bitterness. And uh, I, just, I, uh, I decided to talk about this because, you know, we all got different stuff. We deal with every day. Stuff you struggle with probably not the same I mean I'm, we all struggle with certain things you know but there's probably some things you struggle with I don't struggle with some things that I struggle with that you don't necessarily struggle with so bitterness is just one of the things that I deal with now, I don't like talking about it because if you talk about it you sound bitter you know because you sound like you're complaining <laughs> how bitter you are because somebody else has things you don't have or what not but I don't know I was uh, yeah I was sitting in church listening to a sermon listening to the preacher and it just hit me how somebody be talking about what they got how it, oh I got a wife and I love my wife and I love my kids I've always wanted that I don't have it therefore sometimes I can be bitter about it see why I hate talking about it because I sound bitter already but, you know, it's just something you have to deal with. I guess nobody wants to talk about, you know, other things they deal with. I'm just sharing it because I figure somebody out there probably deals with the same thing. But, you know, they say about bitterness is a poison you drink, hoping that it kills somebody else. So, that's, you've heard that saying, I'm sure. But, you know, when your life don't go the way you thought it was going to go, you can get a little bitter. It's easy for it to creep in. We see Job's bitterness. Job chapter 10, verse 1. My soul is weary of my life. I will leave my complaint upon myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. So, you aren't, you ain't, if you think you're bitter sometime, you are are not alone not even in the scriptures and Job had you know not like Job didn't have reason to be bitter but uh and I did a video I don't remember when it was maybe earlier this year when I did the video on the difference between jealousy and envy at least I think that's the video I did where uh I think Jealousy and envy, they can feed that. Because remember I told you, jealousy is being afraid that someone's going to take something you have and envy is wishing you had something somebody else has. So I think those two things can feed into bitterness. 
you see somebody who's got something you want and it just aggravates you you know oh I want that that should be mine kind of thing Hebrews 12 14 15 follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of God lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you and thereby many be defiled we don't want no root of bitterness to spring up this part is going to you though at some point because you got to learn how to beat it back down you know like like I said in videos previous, you got to deny yourself and deny these things that the flesh brings forth and bitterness being one of them. You know, we all have things, fleshly things that are contrary to our holiness. We're trying to be holy, which means set apart, not like the world. And we all have these struggles we deal with every day. Not just bitterness. I'm sure you got something you deal with every day. Jealousy, envy, whatever, lust, things like that. And you got to fight them. But bitterness is something, me personally, and it's not the only thing. You know, I'm not saying this is the only thing I deal with. I just thought I'd point this one out because I don't really ever hear anybody talk about it that much. Ephesians 4. Thirty-one. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Bitterness be put away from you. But one thing I used to be real bad about doing that I had to put away from me is whenever I used to be on social media, and especially when first got started, I don't remember so much back in the MySpace days. But when I first got on Facebook, and you know, I know you know how it is. You got parents, mostly they're mostly the mom who wants to post 27 pictures of their kid every day, doing the same thing that they were doing yesterday. And for someone who don't have kids that wishes they had kids, that can make me bitter. And I'm, I don't even want to say me, because I, you know, I know other people. I'm not saying they're bitter, because I don't know. But I know other people who want kids, and they don't have any. And I see people talking about posting pictures of them with their significant other. Oh, I love them so much, and this and that. And they're just gushing. And to us who are, we want to, we're single, but we wish we were married. We wish we had a family, you know, stuff like that. And you're just posting it all over Facebook, and we see it every day over and over again. And it just makes us bitter. I'm saying us because I know I ain't alone. Plus, like I said, talking about it makes me sound bitter. At least I think so. But, you know, I had to stop doing that because sometimes I would post about it. Like, stop. You stop. Nobody cares. But then I got to thinking... You know, nobody probably cares what you person either. But people put up with it. But I, I just don't want to be that person. So I had to put that away. I had to remove that root. Beat it down. I don't want to be that person who's being negative to other people because their life's going along great. Or at least it looks like it on the outside. But they've got they've they've got the things that they want, and uh, I can't hate on them because they got it and I don't have it. Because just because you know God has a plan for my life, He's got a plan for their life. Their plan might look better to me, but that doesn't mean that their plan is not as important as the plan God has for me too. Like I might not have, you know, my life didn't go like I thought it was going to go. I'm 37 years old. I thought at this point I was going to be married and have kids. I got married 
when I was 22, and I thought that was it. We're going to get married. We're going to start a family. It didn't work out that way. A year after we got married, she wanted a divorce. So we got divorced. And ever since then, it's just been me. No wife, no kids like I wanted to happen. And ain't nothing, that's the thing that's kind of aggravating about it is that this one aspect of your life, as far as relationships go, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, I can do what you're supposed to do as far as, you know, trying to meet people and start relationships, but I can't just go up to somebody and say, hey, you're my wife now. Let's go. I can't do that. You know, everything else, like I was telling this to somebody else last week, I think. Most everything in life, if you want it, you can just go get it. You want a new vehicle? Go to the dealership, buy a new vehicle. You want a new cell phone? Go to the place, buy a new cell phone. It's not dependent on anybody else's decision. But as far as a relationship goes, it is dependent. You, you can't have it unless they won't. Unless they agree, you know. So that's the one thing that be that's kind of annoying about it. But I guess that was kind of a rabbit I just chased. So you get that one for free. But like I said, just because I don't have the things I thought I would have, that doesn't mean I can't be content with what I do have. And thank God for what I do have. And you know, there, my life's not negative. It's not depressing. Other than that one aspect, it's lacking. But, you know, who's to say that God doesn't have that coming for me down the pike? But, uh, you know, like I said, God's plan that he's got going on in my life right now is equally as important as somebody else's plan. James 1.19 Wherefore, my beloved, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. So I have to be, that's the, work on that a lot, traffic, being slow to wrath. But, uh, gotta chill out. When you feel that bitterness, like, somebody posting that 43rd picture of their kid of the day oh my kid is so cute and you're just like Rrr. push it down you gotta squeeze it out slow to wrath slow to speak don't let that root of bitterness spring up in you because God working in your life and even though it don't look like what he's doing in their life, that don't make it any less important. Know what I'm saying? I hope this video worked out the way I wanted it to. I think it worked out a little better than the last one. Especially the one I did yesterday that I ain't gonna use. I just don't, I don't wanna come, I don't want to come off as bitter as I explain bitterness, you know? I just feel like that is an easy thing to do. Like I'm trying to explain to you my struggle with bitterness so that maybe you can relate to it and that'll help you. But I don't want to come off as bitter. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's the video for today. Remember, podcast comes out, new episode on Friday, part two of our eschatology series on, uh, it's going to be on post-millennialism this week. The opening opening segment, which I'm about to change up yet again. Opening segment is going to be about why we call out false teachers. Why we even talk about it. And I apologize for the lighting today. I just noticed that. It's pretty terrible. But what can I do? You know, there's trees. And... Anyway. Facebook. Gospel Liberty Gimmicks. Uh, you can email me at Gospel Liberty Gimmicks at gmail.com if you want to provide some feedback 
or uh, questions, ideas for shows, whatever. Uh, yep, that's about it. You might want to go like the Facebook page because I'm thinking about not posting Bible giveaways on YouTube anymore. People just can't follow directions. I don't know what it is. We had a winner of the contest this month. And I went and checked. He didn't like the page. I said like three times, you got to like the page and like the post. And he didn't like the page, so he don't get it. I picked another name and sent it to her. People can't follow directions. I don't know. So we might just do the contest on Facebook from now on. Who knows? My stockpile of Bibles is getting a little low. So I might have to take a break to replenish come fall. Uh, we'll see. Till next time, take your cross, carry on.